Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoyed this Pilates mat workout with props designed for every level of fitness. I have found that Pilates-based exercises are my favorite for toning and lengthening the muscles while improving posture. These exercises will help strengthen your core, back and spine, while also improving balance and stability. Each exercise has a prayerfully chosen scripture to help strengthen our spiritual foundation. You will only need a light set of weights and a stretch band, but you don't have to use them. You can always use your own body for resistance. Let's get started. Go ahead and lie down on the floor. I'm going to use these light weights at first. Bring your feet on the floor and scoop that belly in. Arms down beside you. We're going up into a bridge, so pull the belly in, take a deep inhale, exhale, bring the arms up with it, and then lower back down. Let's do that again. Let's bring them up, keep that core engaged. We're strengthening the back and the spine. Let's not get tired of doing what's good, okay? You just do what you're called to do. Don't get tired of it. You know, I think sometimes we get frustrated and we're like, you know, I'm doing this good thing and no one appreciates me, but you know what? God sees what you're doing. Don't worry about those other people. Just try and please God, right? He sees what you're doing even when other people don't see it. So keep doing the right things. Keep doing what's good. We're working through the spine. We're bringing it up nice and strong hips and glutes and lower down. Now on this set, we're still working through the bridge position, so I need you to go up and roll up in a bridge. Bring both arms up. We're gonna bring the weights back towards your forehead and then straight up. And we're gonna add a bridge with this, so lower down as those weights come back and then right back up. The Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our hearts. Love and joy and peace and patience and kindness goodness and faithfulness, right? So, you know what? Let's just check our own hearts and let's make sure those fruits are in our hearts and we're demonstrating those towards other people and our families, right? All right, keep breathing deep from the diaphragm. We're working the triceps. We're strengthening the back and the spine and the core. We're breathing really, really deep here. Keep going, one more. And last one, lower all the way back down, slowly roll down to the floor and place your weights down. We're going to extend the arms out with our palms facing down and just start pumping those arms down. This is called the hundred. Keep that head in a good neutral position. You can flex up if you wanted to progress this. You can go in a tabletop position if you wanted to. You can fully extend the legs with your heels together. If your faith remains strong, even while you're surrounded by life's difficulties, you will continue to experience the untold blessings of God. And that is so true. As you do what you're called to do, and when life is difficult, God will bless you. He will bless you. He will provide for you. He will make a way. And He's gonna help you out. You just hang in there, okay? You trust God for everything. All right, feeling this in the arms and in the abdominals, bring those knees in. Next exercise is called the roll up. So we're gonna take one weight. We're gonna pull the belly in and bring those legs out. I'm gonna show you the modification for this one. Take a deep inhale with the weight back. Exhale, roll up and just hold right there. I mean, I can feel my core real strong there. And then back down, let's do that again. Inhale to prepare, exhale up and hold and then lower down. Now let's go into the progression. Fully extend your legs, bring the arms back, humble yourself before the Lord, and He will lift you up. Roll up each vertebrae at a time. Flex over your legs. Inhale, roll back down. Extend those arms as far as you can. Reach and hold. Again, bring the arms up. Pull the belly in. Lift up. You need to go at your own pace with this one. Don't get discouraged. At home, you can place a pillow back behind your back to help support that spine, or you can go with the modification and just place the feet on the floor and keep the knees bent. So we're moving through the roll up and the roll down. This definitely will benefit the core and the back 
in the spine. We're bringing circulation into the spine definitely by rolling up and rolling down. We're engaging that powerhouse. Those are your abdominals. And in Pilates, I like to say scoop your belly. So you'll probably hear me saying that. Scoop your belly. That means bring your navel to your spine. Breathe deep from your diaphragm and just do what you can do. Don't stress out about it. Don't worry about it. And let's go ahead and place that weight down. Now for the stretch band, go ahead and take it. We're gonna place it underneath the foot. So take the band. You don't have to have a band, but if you do, just take the band. They're real therapeutic for the body. Slide your fingers down, bring this opposite leg out, and just start to do some small circles. Guard your heart above all else. Guard your heart, for it determines the course of your life, right? Whatever is in your heart is a direction we typically go, right? So if you're angry or upset, that's usually the direction you keep going until you change that heart and ask God to help you with that. All right, so you should be feeling this in your legs and in your thighs. And that core's engaged. You've got the belly scoop going on. Moving that leg around in that leg circle. And straighten that leg as much as you can. Let's do that a few more times with a deep inhale and exhale. One more time around. You're doing great. And bring the leg up. Let's take the opposite leg as we bend this knee. And let's just bring it up in the band and bring that other foot down. So extend this leg up. Make sure that low back stays down and start the circle. You know, God must become greater, right? And we need to become less. So less of us and more of God, right? Less of me, Father, and more of you. Circle around, feel those legs stretch, feel that in your hip flexors, all through your thighs, this is so good for the knees. If you have any knee pain at all, this is a great exercise to keep the knees strong and to help with any knee pain. Also great for the back. That spine is on the back. We're in a great position for the spine. Keep moving, inhale and exhale. Nice work. So we're gonna bring one knee in towards us and the opposite leg up. And so you're just gonna take the hands from leg to leg we're gonna start out high, okay? Here's a modification for your single leg stretch. The next progression is just lower down. And then lift back up and hold right there through your belly. And everything you do, do unto others as you would have them do to you, right? That's the golden rule, right? Do unto others as you would have them do to you. So just think about it before you act out or say something you probably shouldn't be saying. Like, would you want someone to do that to you or say that to you? Keep breathing. Single leg stretch is so good for the legs and the core and the spine. A few more of these. Let's do one more each leg and then bring both knees in. This next exercise is called a double leg stretch. Modification. So you're gonna start here with the knees in and the arms down and then bring the legs up, arms up, circle below your shoulders, bring the knees back in. All right, so the progression is fully extend out, flex up, and then come back down, right? Don't be selfish and don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others. So that's how the book of Philippians chapter two, right? Be humble, don't try and impress others. I think we do that sometimes, or at least I know I do that, trying to impress others trying to please others. God wants us only to impress Him, to please only Him. So you're breathing deep from the diaphragm. Feel that in the arms, legs, definitely in the abdominals. One more, whoo, and breathe. Okay, this next one, you can use weights and you don't have to. We're going to extend one leg out, bring the arms out. We're gonna lift both at the same time and then lower both of them, okay? So basic chest fly with a straight leg lift. Don't look for your own interest and don't look out for your own interest. 
But again, look to the interest of others. Think about what you can do for someone else. Whenever I feel a little low, I know that I better get my mind off myself and help someone out, encourage someone, go out there and do something for someone else. That always picks up your spirit. Again, we're working through the chest fly. Feel that through the arms and the chest, under the arms, feel that in that leg, and in the back of the leg. You're doing a good job here, keeping that spine straight. One more, and lower down. Let's go ahead and take the opposite leg, fully extend, try and keep it as straight as you can, and lift it up. Whenever you're working with the legs, especially in this position, you're really strengthening the knees and that entire leg. And with the arms, you're strengthening the chest and the shoulders and the arms. You're lying in this position and you're really helping your spine out here. Create in me a clean heart, oh God. And that's my prayer today. Create in me a clean heart, oh God. Let my heart be clean before you. So keep breathing, doing fantastic. Feel that in your leg, feel that in the arms. Keep those muscles engaged. Keep your belly scooped. We've just got a few more here. I'm so glad you're exercising with me today. And we can encourage one another. One more, and then lower down. All right, we're gonna rock up, okay? Or you can come up in a real gentle, easy way. We're gonna sit and extend the legs out. I'm gonna place the weights down, but you could use them if you wanted to. Bring the arms out. And if you wanna modify, just bend the knees. So what we're gonna do is rotate and hold right there and then come back up and rotate opposite side. And then come back up. Progression, fully extend the legs, flex your feet, pull the belly in. Now we're gonna to start to pulse right here. Walk with the wise and become wise. Associate with fools and you get in trouble, right? Let's go to the other side, just pulse. Stay right there and then come back up. Walk with the wise and you become wise. I used to tell my children that all the time. Walk with fools and well, you become a fool. <laughs> and go ahead and switch sides. Good, and then back to center. All right, go ahead and take the band and again, you don't have to. You can also use your weights. Place them under the feet. Bring the legs out. You're simply going to bring that band back towards you and then away. Feel that in the arms. And if you want to progress the legs, keep them nice and straight. Double arm rows right here. I will praise you, Lord, with all of my heart. And I will tell the marvelous things you've done for me. We need to be telling people what Jesus has done for us. We need to be out there and just encouraging others, helping them along in their journey. Everyone's at a different level, right? Just like in exercise, everyone's in a different level, different pace, but you can definitely go out there and encourage people. All right, we're feeling this in the arms, my goodness. Shoulders are down, just one more. And take the stretch band out. Now this is a seated rotation for the obliques. So what you're gonna do is just sit up tall and bring them weight from hip to hip. So your breathing's real important here. You're inhaling and exhaling as that weight goes across that body. You're thinking about keeping that weight strong and you're keeping that spine nice and straight, your torso straight. You're gonna encourage people today, right? You're gonna build someone up, right? That's what we're gonna do. Encourage each other and build each other up, not cut each other down, right? Build someone up. Keep going. Good. Feel that in the waist? I like this one for the waist. It's an easy one to do. You can do this anywhere you're at, really. You could even do this at a ball game if you wanted to on the bleachers. <laughs> All right, a few more. One more each side. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith.